All right, we are back. Hey, everybody, thanks for coming back to my channel. This is where I, just some random bozo, decided to experiment with CJC-1295 and Epimorel and the peptides because I saw people talking on TikTok about how great these things are and how much of a wonder drug they are and magic pill, but they are also like all selling it and I didn't see any regular random bozos such as myself actually just like, I'm just gonna try this and document it and I thought I'll be that bozo that does it. So here I am, I'm about to wrap up cycle two each cycle cycle is two months long and um, if you haven't already hit subscribe and go back and check out all my previous videos I've documented this from the time that I got all my stuff in the mail the injections the uh, the the ups and downs of the emotional turmoil that I've been through with this process I've just kind of tried to give you guys the big stuff and the small stuff just putting it all out there in case it's something you guys want to end up uh, pursuing on your own so again just some regular guy just doing this I don't have any to sell you so where I left you guys off on my last uh, on my last update was that I did a couple of scans at the end of my first month of this cycle. Now, if you've watched my previous videos, I've talked a lot about how like cycle one, I didn't expect really any sort of results because it's like the foundation period and everything I saw said like, don't really, you don't, nothing really happens there. But cycle two, oh boy, that's where all the good stuff in cycle three. So when cycle two comes around, I'm like, let's go, let's do this. And I did my first in body scan at the beginning of cycle one or cycle two. And it was a great scan. It was another scan where my muscle went up again and my fat went down. I had two scans in a row like that, which I've never had before. So I'm like, man, these peptides are really doing something. That's what I get. That's what I get for thinking that. So at the end of that first month uh, of cycle two, I went back and my in body scan at the exact same place I've been doing these scans said I was losing about a pound of my muscle fiber per week. Now, thank you guys in the comments for all your conversation, your theories, your advice on why that may have happened, that it may not have been actual muscle, that it could be water related, could be all sorts of stuff. So thank you guys for all those things in the comments. Um, so I've tried to use that, not to let it get me down, even though like it did for a bit, but I've tried to use it as a chip on my shoulder to just go like, you know what? I've got to find some responsibility here as to why this stuff isn't working. I have to keep presuming that it's working and I have to keep doing my part. Now, it did prove to me that these things are no magic bullet, that anybody that, at least for me, it hasn't been, anybody that said like, if you start taking this stuff, like you are going to see, like one of the videos I remember was like X number of pounds in 10 days. And I thought like, even before I started peptides, I was like, that's baloney. Like, there's no way that's a thing. And so it's not been a magic pill at all, but I've really tried to use it a chip on my shoulder to keep myself accountable, to like find responsibility where I thought maybe I had none and try to do better with my workouts, with my diet and try to get a little bit better. The coordination part of it, I may have laxed a little bit on doing my part to help peptides do what they are supposed to do if they do anything. So, um, you know, once I kind of got over that part and sort of had to kind of recommit to the process again, one of the other things I mentioned on those videos is that I had a couple of new symptoms that had popped up primarily at the injection sites. Uh, this cycle, which did not happen at all last cycle, um, I was getting these itchy bumps where I would do the injections. My doctor thought maybe at first it might be an issue with a quality control thing with the, need, the, the brand of needles I was using and the gauge was a little bit bigger than normal. So he went to the brand that she recommended, which is the popular BD brand, and I went back up to a 31 gauge. I had been using 30. Uh, for some reason, they sent me 30 this time, even though last cycle I was doing 31. So I went back to my 31 gauge. Um, I'm still having a little bit of that issue. I would say not as much, but I've also sort of changed the way that I'm doing the injections. The, 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 the liquid in the syringes comes out so fast in cycle one, I just bloop, did it and it was gone. And I've been doing that again this cycle. But then I realized like, maybe I just need to do that a little bit slower and let it, you know, not try to go bam and be done with it. You know, just kind of just more of a slow, I guess not a draw, but a, a slow push. Uh, and, and then I've really been concentrating on sort of just rubbing the area. I don't even know if that does anything, but trying to like massage it in if that, if that. So I've been kind of doing that. And I do feel like Whichever one of those things is helping, something is different because I'm still getting that, but I'm not as itchy as I want as I was. It's still a little bit bumpy and whatnot, but it has gotten a little bit better. So who knows why? Um, but I'm gonna keep doing whatever I'm doing because maybe it's gonna help. Hey, and by the way, thank you, <laughs> thank you, folks, in the comments for saying, well, you may not be like losing muscle, but you look younger. Like that's nice. I'll take that. You know, like I told a, I told somebody the other day that like I'm at an age, so I'm at 46 now. I'm at an age where nobody ever tells me I don't look my age anymore. Like, you know, when I was 40, I'd say I'm 40 and people go, oh, you don't look 40. And I go, that's great. Thanks. Like, I miss that because I don't. Now, when I say 46, nobody goes, you don't look 46. 
So I appreciate any sort of like, hey, you look like you're getting younger. So I appreciate that. I haven't necessarily, I don't know if I see that. Some folks in the comments said, hey, are you like losing hair or gaining hair? Or like, are you seeing anything with your skin? I haven't detected anything uh, in relation to that. My nail's not growing faster. Uh, I haven't, there's been nothing. The sleep is still good. But the other thing I mentioned was that the warming effect from cycle one, the warming effect, if you haven't watched my other videos, still go and watch them was about 15 minutes, for 15 minutes after my injection every night, my body would just get warm and I'd almost get like a heavy heartbeat. That stuff completely went away in cycle two. Um, so that really hasn't returned any at all either. So that is what it is. But um, I did have two big things I thought this week, which were, uh, you know, maybe peptide related. And I've said this from the beginning, I'm too cynical yet. I haven't seen enough sample size to contribute very much to peptides. But I had two PRs this week in the gym. As a 46 year old, I hit a PR on my bench and I hit a PR on my uh, back squat. And so uh, that could be that I'm getting stronger and maybe that's peptide related. It could also be that I've tried to kind of change some things with the way that I've been lifting and start with heavier weights than normal. Instead of trying to like do this sort of walk up uh, during sets, I've tried to start, uh, start heavier. Maybe that's contributing, I don't know. But whatever it is, it's nice to have something positive happen in the middle of this cycle, which seems like I haven't really seen very much positive progress in any sort of direction. So um, that's pretty much all that I've got for you right now. Uh, there's not a lot happened this week as far as like my body goes. Some of those symptoms died down. I had some good workouts. Um, diet has been tighter where I could kind of make it tighter, probably still not tight enough, but just kind of a regular week, two more weeks left after this, and then cycle two will be done. So that's it. That's all I got for you guys. Thanks so much for watching again. I appreciate the advice and the comments and the insights. And, you know, like I said, I'm not, I'm a regular dude when it comes to this stuff. And some of you that are jumping in with some uh, personal experience or that are going through it right now on your own, thank you for sharing your story because it makes me feel like while I may be a bozo, I'm not the only bozo. And sometimes that's all a bozo needs is to feel like he's not the only one. Thanks y'all so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you in week seven. Peace out.